said, people always know when a campaign is weird. Like people always know when a campaign is weird. They're like, oh, this person did this and this, but like, why? That was such a weird thing to do. And sometimes they won't say so in the comments. Sometimes they will. I mean, this is the internet. Welcome to the A1 Podcast. I am your host, Moya Lauren Tubba, and this video podcast is essentially all about the business of content creation, particularly in Africa. So if that feels like the kind of thing that you're keen on, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you check out other episodes that we've done. If you are listening to this on any podcast platform, let me know by taking a screenshot of it, tagging us at the a1.co. And at the end of this, also please, leave us a review i would love to know your thoughts and if you're watching this on youtube i hope you like subscribe and i always want to know your thoughts so let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on today's conversation and we'll engage there and on social media platforms so today's an interesting one so i often chat with creators. I think I spent most of my time now talking to creators or content creators, but I, every once in a while, get a chance to talk to agencies and to either consult or to um, work with or whatever capacity, the certain, you know, certain capacities that I work with them all in relation to the creator economy, all in relation to working with content creators, especially on the continent. And from my interactions with them, there are definitely a few things that I believe content creators need to know, especially on the continent. Because, you know, overseas, there's a lot of information about the creator economy online. There's a lot of information about the business side, about the taxes side, about the legal side. It's a lot more robust in terms of the support of content creators in internationally. Like if you can, if you want to Google about taxes as a content creator, you'll probably find more US and UK, you know, pieces of content. I believe Australia is also, you know, growing really strongly, but in Africa, we still struggle a lot in regards to support and especially in knowledge because not everyone comes from a household that understands the media industry. So essentially, when it comes to African digital content creators, there is a lot of support, a lot of knowledge that needs to take place. And this is not just in the creator side, but it's also in the agencies, the brands, and essentially the stakeholders within the creative economy, you know, the people that work with content creators. And so I put together a little list of things that I truly believe every single content creator, especially on the continent, needs to really keep in mind and understand when it comes to working with brands and agencies. So they're not in any particular order, although there are some that are like, oh my gosh, you need to do this because like, well, these companies are just like, listen, it's enough now. Some of these creators really need to do better. And so we're gonna talk about that in this episode. Now, again, these are not in any particular order. However, this one is probably the number one. It is the one that I can predict <laughs> when chatting to any agency or brand when it comes to them communicating with content creators. And that is that one, as a content creator working with an agency or a brand, you need to be professional and great with your communication with them. Now, it might seem so basic and so like, oh yeah, sure, be professional and yeah, I mean, communicate. However, it's actually not practiced as much as you would think that it is. So when I mean communication with agencies, I mean things like when responding to emails and responding to, you know, when, when the agency or brand is reaching out and doing that in a timely manner, things like when it comes to briefs for a campaign and things like that, asking questions, making sure you understand, making, maybe getting on a Zoom, on a virtual call, on a phone call to chat with the account manager, to chat with the agency, to essentially make sure that you truly understand what is going on. And all around communication with the agency or the brand responding to um, requests, you really just having that nice, easy, flow of communication that is professional and that is done in a timely manner, meaning that you're able to give a response in a good amount of time. You don't just be like, oh, I'll get to that and then you get to that like two weeks later. It's, it's actually quite interesting because people will see emails that literally offers money and campaigns and not really respond 
well or respond in in a good amount of time and and things like that and so i've noticed this i know a lot of people who've experienced this when working content creators you need to be professional you're opting to work with companies and agencies and presenting yourself as a service provider and so there's a level of professionalism there's a level of understanding of the communication and even if you don't necessarily understand everything that's going on i truly recommend recommend to not be quiet about it ask jump on a phone call jump on a virtual call with the agency you know representative or the brand account manager whichever the case is and have a conversation you know it's it's weird i think when i work with agencies it's like agencies sometimes don't necessarily have relationships with creators or like engage in communication on a on, this is now on a larger scale and with creators they also don't so i feel like when it comes to communication between the two there's always like I don't know there's always some break in the gap there's always some like division and so as a creator especially because you if you want to by the way if you want to work with this brand just put in a little bit more effort to get to know the agency and the company and the brand that you're working with communicate again professionally communicate in a timely manner and don't be afraid to say oh i saw this like can you explain what that means to me I think doing that and forming a relationship with the agency and with the brand is really in your best benefit. In your best benefit? In your, in your best interest. In your best interest to your benefit. Oh, in your best interest and to your benefit. Thanks, Jared. So essentially, that is one really, really, really key one. And I know it seems so obvious maybe but it really is something that a lot of people are not doing so you know take pride in what you do and in the communication of that take pride in how you you know respond to your emails and in how you conduct your virtual meetings you know i think take pride in it and and the more professional you are I actually think even the more money you can <laughs> you can get sometimes because it comes across as yes this person is serious about what they do and I need to pay them accordingly. Another thing that I think agencies really want you to know is that originality is important. Originality in your content creation. Now this is actually something that we've spoken about in the monetization secrets program. You check that out. Head to the a1.co to check that out. And it is something that sometimes Sometimes creators don't really know how important it is to not be a creator that does so many trends, but really offer unique pieces of content, like unique storytelling, unique value offerings through content. A lot of agencies are seeing the same things. They're seeing people do the same trend or the same this in very similar ways. And so when building a campaign, you often want different content creators, but then sometimes so many people just keep doing the same things because they see it work for somebody else. And then they're like, oh, I need to do that too. But no, think about original ways to story tell to talk about what you're good at you know talk about the things that you talk about and that is actually celebrated by agencies and brands the uniqueness in content the originality in content now i think there's certain areas that are really good at this there's certain industries in the media industry that uh, or certain categories in the media industry that are good at this like i think comedy has been one to to do quite well but in categories like beauty and fashion sometimes it kind of all kind of seems the same do you know what i mean so change things up and try and put your own unique spin on the content so that you also stand out and you can get included in more and more campaigns. Another thing agencies want you to know is to research the brand you hope to work with or you are working with. <laughs> Again, I know these things sometimes seem like, yeah, that's pretty obvious, but not you know, not everybody knows these things sometimes. And so do your research. You know, if you're being considered for a campaign of which you want to be part of, research that brand, get to know that brand. And, you know, doing all these little things, they all add to the level of professionalism that you bring. And they also, you know, impact you 
honestly getting more money for what you do. And so when it comes to working with the brand, make sure you have taken the time to understand that brand, maybe understand that particular product, that particular service, or that particular, you know, category that they want you to talk about to be part of their campaign. Like do, do the research to learn about the company so that it also for your audience and for your community, it comes to a lot more organically when you're talking about this brand, product, or company. So yeah, that's a good one to always do for every brand that you work with. And it's something that your community, your audience will definitely be grateful for as well. Another one is to understand the value offering, understand what is unique about you, understand what that thing is that people love coming to you for. This is something that I talk about a lot with agencies because it is something that's I've, uh, over the time I've seen when working with content creators that sometimes people don't really understand the value, that unique thing that they bring to the table. Like they continue to give it, but they don't really know what it is, which is a normal thing. I don't think that's exclusive to like content creation. You see that in so many other categories where they will say, I mean, so many other industries where they will say, hey, like ask your friends, like what do people come to you for? You know, all of those things. And so I think as a content creator, brands really want you to know what is unique and what value you bring. Because when they're asking you to work with this brand, they want that value to be included as well. So take the time to really, really, really make sure you understand the value offering that you bring, the niche, the you know unique things that you do, that you say, that you share with people that they love receiving from you. Because that's really important when it comes to integrating the brand into what you do so that it's seamless, so that it is more, you know, it's received well it's not like so weird and the thing is that people always know when a campaign is weird like people always know when a campaign is weird they're like oh this person did this and this but like why that was such a weird thing to do and sometimes they won't say so in the comments sometimes they will i mean this is the internet so make sure you really understand the value that you bring because that also helps when aligning and you know coming up with creative concepts that a brand can integrate into you have the responsibility of making sure that when you work with a brand, it's communicated in a way that your audience and community likes. Like, I mean, you're trying to communicate to them about a brand, about a product, about a service. And so it needs to be done in a way where they believe you, where they're like, yeah, you do this. And so, you know, I will try it out as well. And so I think understanding what that value is, is very important. That's for sure. For the full version of this chat, make sure you check it out on all available podcast platforms. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you did. Remember to tag us at the a1.co on social media. If you're watching on YouTube, comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you've ever thought about pitching to agencies, you need to watch this video right here. This is where I talk about literally the number one thing you need to do and know before you pitch. So make sure you check that out right there. There. I'll see you on that side.